finally got to hook up and clears the gear. There's the signal. Deck clear. Hook down, wheels down, flaps down. Those hook releasemen are right on their toes. Funny what you catch on these wires sometimes, and with no bait, too. Spoiler, keep out of that landing area. As soon as the first barrier goes up, the deck clear signal is given. Deck clear. Here come the big ones. As the cut. Director signals hook up. Close flaps. Starts playing up the deck, passing it to the next director. Wing folders get a break when the torpedo planes come aboard. Pilot folds the wings by hydraulic control in the cockpit when signaled by the plane director. By the time the plane crosses the barriers, wings should be completely folded so as to cause no delay in taxiing into the final spot. The next plane enters the groove. Signal officer picks him up a little high. A little fast, too, if you ask me. Wave off. Hey, you can't cut on a wave off. Look out in the catwalk. Asbestos suit men, firefighters, corpsmen, and flight surgeon all converge on the plane. Flight deck crews must be ready. Danger of fire is ever present in a crash like this. Red flag, foul deck. The first consideration is personnel, second the plane. It wasn't lucky that no one was hit in the catwalk. Those men had their spots picked and ducked clear. No deck. Rigging this boom and all the gear and tackle required is a slow, difficult job at best. All carriers are now provided with a mobile crane, which greatly speeds up the clearing of the wreck. A crash of this kind should be cleared in a matter of minutes. In such accidents, the cross-deck pennant is frequently damaged and must be replaced. Spare pennants are kept readily available in the catwalk. The plane still in the air may be running short of gas. There's no time for lost motion in getting the deck ready again. Okay, retrieve it. The crash has been cleared and is sent below. Planes re-enter the landing circle. This one looks fast too. When you hear that, duck for cover. He fooled us that time. Let's settle down. I can't stand his pace. Director signals full wing. Chalkman move in. Men working here just forward of the barriers must be constantly alert to the danger of the succeeding planes coming in.
really getting crowded up here now. The clearance between planes is only a matter of inches. You see the importance of having the tail wheels locked and quickly getting the wing lines on as soon as the planes are parked. Here's where the directors really earn their salt. One plane out of place can throw the whole works out of gear. Deck clear. Hook down, wheels down, flaps down. There's the cut, and the last plane hits the deck. Red flag, all planes aboard. This last plane is held in the gear. Director signals up hook, close flaps, fold wings, motions for the handling crews to come in. Directs pilot to open bomb bay doors in preparation for rearming. Respotting for takeoff begins immediately. Handling crews start the plane aft even before the prop stops turning. 